Sue Mayo. I'm a Year 4 teacher at Narrabeen Lakes Public School. The area that our school is in is a coastal area between the lake and the sea and many of the children live in apartments so and mostly do not get, do not, wouldn't know what a farm looked like really except what they see in books. So it was a fantastic um, project for us to do because they then saw outside of their local area, saw what can, what, how people work, how the pork is produced, it's not just taken off the shelf at the supermarket, which is what a lot of people, a lot of children think. I'm Hayley Marnie and I've been at Picton High for five years now. And at the school we have the ag plot and here at the school we have sheep and we have chickens, alpacas and cattle. We also grow vegetables, fruit and crops and the students learn a lot of hands-on practical tasks. We've included pigs into the curriculum this year to expand the students' knowledge and uh, get the students involved in something that we don't have on the property. I, I took up the offer to trial this unit uh, mainly because here we tend to rely on um, extensive agricultural industries, so it's essentially prime lambs and wool sheep and, and beef cattle in extensive situations. So I sort of saw it as an opportunity to contrast what we normally do here at school um, in terms of pigs being a more intensive industry. It's also good for the students to learn a little bit about something that's not really um, popular in this area. I learnt actually a whole heap of new teaching techniques, so things like the consequence wheel. I'd never seen that before, so that was fantastic to deal with that. Um, I learnt that, again, linking back to the greenhouse gas emissions, I didn't realise that pigs were actually one of the lowest um, emitters. So that was really um, good to get involved with that and understand that a bit more. The unit aligned to the Australian curriculum was fantastic. We haven't started um, our science Australian curriculum work yet. That's due to start next year. So it was great that it's aligned with that so that we can start working and understanding our Australian curriculum better as well. I use the um, unit specifically to try and contrast some of the things we do here at school in terms of uh, intensive versus extensive production system. Uh, I used sections of the unit and I thought they were brilliant um, to, to get my, um, well, to get the issues over for that particular section. Um, I mixed it up with other resources that I had um, and, and think we come up with a pretty good, um, pretty good mix of, of material for the students. The pig unit we looked at the climate change and sustainability and so looking at effluent as a power source those sorts of things whereas we don't really look at that as much with the other units so that was interesting for the kids and looking at how climate change greenhouse gas emissions are quite low with pigs as compared to like the cattle and the sheep so that was good for the students to really get in and have a look at that part. Being online is good um, and of course it, it does allow those better students to, to run with systems and, and to delve a little bit deeper into, into the material. A lot of the students actually sort of run ahead a little bit with their, with their research stuff in, in some of that and I think they really enjoyed the videos and the, and the material that was provided. Um, and it's, it's always nice to have up-to-date material in schools. Students engage with the learning ideas in the unit. They love being able to work in pairs um, and in groups. They love being able to share their ideas and they really enjoyed taking ownership of their learning. So a lot of that, the um, pork unit let the kids sort of explore and investigate. So they could come up with the ideas and they could work together. When we talk about welfare with pig production, we still consider welfare for our beef cattle and a lot of those issues will overlap. Same with the sheep, uh, we talk about welfare, we talk about housing, uh, management, disease control. All of those factors will, will basically be the same concept, depending, it uh, doesn't matter which industry we're, we're studying. So it was an opportunity to, to contrast and, um, and run, have a look at something new. Um. It was helpful being linked to the Australian curriculum. Obviously, with the new curriculum, there's a lot of extra work involved. Um, so coming up with resources can be quite tricky, whereas this unit already being um, structured that way makes my job a lot easier when this actually when the Australian curriculum comes in so they go to Woolies they see the pork but they don't really 
I guess I don't think really where does it come from. Uh, so to get in, see the live videos that were provided in the program and those sorts of things made the students really start to think about pigs and pig production in general. So it was good and I think a lot of kids are now more interested in pigs and pig production and sort of looking into that as you know a job or a career path and work experience. Delivering the unit to the students was actually really easy. Everything was set out perfectly. It flowed really well. All the activities were great. Um, the YouTube links, all the web links, they all worked really well. Um, it just flowed really nicely and the kids were able to follow that process really well. The unit of work that I was provided with was absolutely fantastic. It had everything in it that I needed, the prior knowledge that I needed to begin the unit and it had a range of activities that was great for the children who really wanted to know more and got a really deep understanding. And the other students who wanted to go off and look at what pigs were fed, how much they weighed, things like that. There was something for everyone in the unit. 